Hello, this short video tutorial will be discussing the VOS combined distribution. This is an extremely useful and completely unique feature available only in model risk. In risk analysis model building, expert opinion is very commonly used as a way to characterize the uncertainty about a particular parameter. Many times, multiple experts will be asked about the same parameter. However, they will almost always give different responses to the same question. So then it's required to somehow combine those expert opinions in such a way so as to preserve all of the information that we receive from all the experts. Unfortunately, we often see that this is done incorrectly. So the VOS combined distribution was made to help users of model risk accurately combined expert opinion. We have an example here where we've asked three experts, excuse me, four experts, Peter, Jane, Paul, and Susan, their opinion about a parameter such as market share, project duration, cost estimation. It could be anything where there's uncertainty about the future value. We've asked them for a minimum, a mode or a most likely value, and a maximum value. When, it, when polling experts, it's often that they will provide their uncertainty information in this kind of a scenario or this kind of a structure. In order to represent their uncertainty for each of these experts, we've chosen the PERT distribution as, a, as the probability distribution. The reason we've done this is that the PERT distribution can be completely specified by three input parameters just so happens, coincidentally, that it's the min, the most likely, and the max. So we've built here for each of our experts a distribution to represent their opinion about the uncertainty of our parameter. And then we've provided some relative weights which represent our confidence in each of the experts' ability to provide us a good set of input parameters. Now, if we want to combine these, there's a number of ways to do it. But if we use the VOS combined distribution, we can know for sure that we have done it in, an a in the most accurate and correct way. So in order to do that, we go to the model risk ribbon. Under select distribution, we choose the combined distribution. Brings up the combined distribution window. In order to enter all of our information, we simply click on the Define Distributions Array button, select our four distributions, click OK, click on the Weights button, select the four relative weights that we've assigned to each expert, and then if we want to, we can click the Name button, which essentially applies a label to each of the distributions, which makes our model more transparent and easier to read and debug later. Once we've done that, what you can see is we have two windows here. The top window shows each expert's opinion, the shape of the distribution, the PERT distribution that is specified by their inputs in a different color. And then in the bottom, we've immediately generated a distribution, a single probability distribution that combines all of those experts without losing any of their information and including our weightings on our confidence in each of the experts. Now, if we want to put this into our model so that we can take random samples from this distribution, we push the simulation radio button. We select the output range button, select the cell in which we want it to go, click OK, click OK again. And now you can see in this cell we have a distribution representing all of our four experts and our weightings. And if we were to run a Monte Carlo simulation or take random samples, or recalculate the sheet, which I'll do now by pushing the F9 key, you can see that we are able to randomly draw samples from that distribution. Sometimes it's important also, or there will be a particular level of our parameter that's of extra importance. And we'll want to know what's the probability of being at or below, perhaps, or at or above a particular level for our uh, parameter. We can also use the Bose combined distribution to do this. We'll select the combined distribution window again. We'll go through the same process to select the distributions and the weights and the names. However, this time, 
and you can see it produces the uh, combined distribution window looks exactly the same as before. This time we'll select the cumulative distribution function radio button. You can see it's now turned all the experts uh, distributions into cumulative probability distributions along with the combined distribution is now a cumulative probability distribution and it allows us to enter an X value. We'll go ahead and put 14 in there and hit enter. What we've now done is calculated what the probability is of being at or below 14 for this combined distribution and that happens to be approximately 0.879. We can go through the same process to put it into our spreadsheet select the cell, click OK, click OK again. What we now have is this combined distribution from which we can draw samples in our model, if that's interesting. I'll hit F9 key. You'll notice that the cell below it for the probability calculation doesn't change. That's because we are calculating the probability of being at or below 14 rather than using simulation for it. So if our model requires using these two parameters somewhere, we can now simply link to these two cells. We have a little bit more time, and so I'd like to call your attention to the another feature completely unique to model risk, and that is the expert analysis tool. Whereas earlier we chose to use the PERT distribution because our experts have given us the min, the most likely, and the max of their estimate for that parameter, and we can easily generate a PERT distribution from that. It may be that your experts uh, don't give you those exact parameters. The expert analysis tool in model risk, completely unique and new, allows you to select a number of other types of parameters that might be of interest. For instance, you could put in a minimum and you might be able to put in a mean value and then you can push the calculate list button and what it will do is then give you a list of possible distributions which could be used to match these particular inputs given by our expert. If you're interested then you can and you like one of these particular distributions for instance the red one is the, the Raleigh distribution you can also place that into the model in place of one of the PERT distributions and add it into your uh, then becomes part of the combined distribution. So you could actually have all four experts give you a different set of parameters or a different set of estimates, generate the distribution for each one that happens to be closest, and then still do a combined distribution to account for all of that uncertainty. Some experts may not want to give parameters. They may not have a good feeling for those particular numbers. And with the Shaper tool in the Expert Analysis tool, we even allow experts to manually enter a distribution based on a shape. You can change the range, the size, the shape, and so on. And then this could also be placed into our model in place of one of the PERT distributions and would then become part of our combined distribution. And then we can use that in our model later to take random samples and so on. So again, the expert analysis tool as well as the combined distribution are completely unique to model risk and we find them very useful in our work and we hope you will find them useful as well. If you'd like more information, I'd encourage you to take a look at the model risk help file if you have a license for model risk, whether it be a trial license or full license. If you don't have a license for model risk, I would encourage you to obtain one. You can get a free, fully functional 30-day trial license from Vose Software, www.vosesoftware.com. You can also contact Vose Software with technical questions at these numbers above. If you happen to have sales questions, I'd encourage you to contact our sister company, Vose Consulting, who is also our main reseller at any of these contact information, or go to www.voseconsulting.com, and we'd be happy to help you out.